quick tutorial on advanced trimming. Um, occasionally you'll get from console routines that have been double recorded where in between the routine they missed recording and they're trained to just let it roll through so that both routines are included in one file. So you can see here with entry 16, um, you have entry 16 and 17 included in one ITV file. And we need to make sure that uh, if a customer orders entry number 16, they're not also getting 17 on the disk and vice versa. So we can trim like normal for entry 16 and I'll just right click, edit, and I'm going to quickly go through the trimming process. And then as I scroll through, I can see that that routine ended. And so I just got, I have a lot to trim on this one. And I hit Command W to close the window. The other thing that I now have to do is this is now entry number 16. If someone orders a DVD uh, of this routine, they're going to get entry number 16. So I've got to rename it. And so I just right click and select rename from the menu. And then I just highlight and delete what I want to what I want to get rid of on the name and I hit rename. Now, what happens with entry number 17? Uh, because we need that as well if someone orders 17. Well, since the file has been changed, we can go back into console and retransfer this file. And remember, I'm just going to my finder. I'm selecting the console hard drive. And in this instance, I'm just selecting the one routine that I want. And I'm doing a quick transfer to my ITV archive. And you'll remember to have it show up in ITV. I've got to close out of ITV to refresh it. I'm just going to hit Command Q, reopen ITV. And you can see I now have this file back in my playlist. And I'm just going to right click, edit. And I'm going to do the opposite now. I'm going to, I'm going to do the entry number 17's trimming. waiting for the dancers to exit the stage. And in this instance, there's not a whole lot to trim. Um, it looks a little bit better to have the camera um, come all the way out, even if they're walking on to set the prop. Um, and so I hit Command W to close it out. And I have to right click to rename again. And now I have 16 and 17, both trimmed, both uh, able to be put on a DVD where they're the only routines. Um, the only thing that, that is uh, kind of not advantageous about this is now you've got three files for the same routine. You've got 16, you've got 17, and still when you do your transfer, you're going to have 16 and 17 together. Um, but it's better to have this ready to go uh, if someone orders 16 and 17 than, uh, than to wait until uh, the eventuality that, that someone may or may not order it. All right, so that's advanced trimming. And uh, you're ready to go. You can start making DVDs.